Hi, in this video we're going to show you the BlueStax Android emulator for Windows. Uh, it's used to run Android apps, mostly games. So there is one catch. I do believe you have to have Hyper-V installed to run this, Microsoft's virtualization platform. Uh, this computer does, so I didn't run into any errors. So if you go to Control Panel and Programs and Features, you could go to Turn Windows Features On or Off. And you could have Hyper-V running right there if it's needed. That's just what I read when I was setting this up. And if you're running on Windows Home, you cannot install Hyper-V. It's not part of Windows Home, but there is a way to add it. So I will include a link in the description on how to configure a Hyper-V for Windows Home Edition. All right, so once you install it, you're going to have to log in with your Google account. And then it's going to show you a bunch of suggested games here. I have search box, you have some options up here for settings and that type of thing. Some offers, uh, you could have my games here where you have your installed games. Uh, you could launch the app player from here which will launch when you load a game anyways. And then they have this multi instance manager. Alright so for example I have racing up here in the search box, let's see what it comes up with. Alright let's say we wanted to check this one out. Many of them will have some screenshots and videos that you can look at if you want to see how the gameplay works. And if you like it, you could install it from Google Play. All right, let's just go back to the store here and see if there's something a little less advanced we could install here. If we kind of scroll down the list, maybe something simple. So you can see there are a lot of things here. So let's say maybe this uh, Moto X3M. So it gives you a little preview there. So this one allows you to do an instant play in a browser. So a lot of them will let you try the game within your browser first before installing it and then give you the option to install. So this one here looks like it's just an instant play in browser option here. So let's go back out again. Let's, for, let's search for something like cards. All right, let's just do something simple like solid here, just for a demonstration here. All right, so here's some screenshots. They have a video uh, overview. So if you want to install it, just click on install from Google Play. Okay, so now it's starting the BlueStacks player. Okay, install from Google Play. So this is why you have to be logged into your account. So it actually logged me out even though I was already logged in. So I'm going to have to sign in again apparently. Okay, so we're signed in. So you may or may not run into this. I've noticed sometimes you don't have to sign in each time. Then sometimes for some reason it makes you sign in when you try to install some uh, different game. So your results will probably vary. And then it's going to ask if you want to back up game data and that kind of thing. So it depends if you want to use your uh, backup space for that or not. I'm going to say no and just accept it. All right, so now we're on the install screen finally. So this kind of looks like it does on your uh, Android smartphone if you're using an Android phone. Kind of installs the same way, has the same look as the uh, Google Play Store. Okay, now we'll click on play. Accept the agreement. All right, and we have our game. And then when you're in the player, you could go full screen here. And you have some other options here to, to go completely full screen. Uh, some sound levels. Uh, stuff for your mouse pointer, keyboard macro manager. So a lot of these you have to kind of hover over and kind of get the mouse in the right position to see what it does. Uh, take a screenshot, take a video recording and so on. Airplane mode, uh, open your media folder and you have some settings and you go home and so on. All right, so then if you want to get out you click on home. And now it shows you the game here. You got some system apps as well. This is just basic things like a web browser and some settings. 
So I'm going to close out of this. Now if I go back to my games, now I have the Solitaire as well. And then you have some options up here. Install an app player. You have some InstaPlay options here. So this one I tried out online too before installing it. So it's showing up in my InstaPlay. So here are my installed apps and I don't have anything under PC games. All right, so what you mainly want to do is go to the store. You could search by category. You could do a search up here. Uh, go to the browse section, the discover section. So there are a lot of games here. So you could probably spend a lot of time installing your games and trying them all out. All right, so let's try one more game here. Let's look for something in the action section here. Uh, maybe Call of Duty. So it's starting the Bluestacks player again. All right, so one thing you need to watch for when installing some of these games, so you can see here there's a drop down. So it's going to want to install it on my phone as well, which I don't want. And then it's calling this device a tablet, even though it's a Windows PC. So I'm just going to make sure I uncheck these other ones here. So I'm going to click on install. All right, so this is a big one here. So I'm going to pause the video and then be back when it's complete. Okay, so now we have it installed. We could click on play. All right, you can see this one's asking for some additional permissions uh, to copy files to your storage on your computer for maps and weapons and so on. So we'll say okay. And then you could, so then this is up to you if you want to allow to access your photos and medias and files. I'm going to say deny just to see how it works here. Okay, you see it said it required. So let's try this again here. So we'll say allow. All right, so now it has to download some other resources here. So just keep in mind, some of these graphic intensive games are going to download a lot of files and take up a lot of room on your drive, so be aware of that. Okay, so now you have some options here to play in low resolution and high resolution. I'm just going to do no, or say low, just so it uh, doesn't try and download more stuff here. Okay, we'll accept the uh, terms here. Of course, you could sign in with your accounts. So we're just going to do a guest for now. Okay, signing in with a Google account here, just like with everything else. Uh, give yourself a name here. Say Todd to go along with the user account here. Alright, took me a few tries to get a name that would work that wasn't already taken. And it's going to give you some instructions. So you can see this one here is giving some instructions as if you had a touch screen. But I could just use my keyboard here to move around. So you can see it gives you these little instructions on the screen too. So F was to pick up the weapon. And I could use the mouse to turn around, and so on. All right, so that's kind of the gist of how that works. So I could close out of here. Go back to my games. And I could say I have Call of Duty. All right, so there is your basic overview of BlueStacks. So like I said, you could install games that you run in the app player. 
Uh, some were Instaplay where you could play them online only. Some you could play both in the app player and online. Then you have a PC game section. So I pretty much just go to the store here and do a search or search by category or just scroll down and look at some of the recommended games. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download BlueStacks. And then, like I said, just be aware of that Hyper-V issue in case you have to install that as well. So I guess you'll find out uh, when you install it if it doesn't work, and then you could worry about Hyper-V after that. But I had Hyper-V already installed, so I never had a problem to begin with. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.